hundreds of protesters have barricaded themselves inside a university campus to prevent police from getting in. Officers surrounded the campus and moved in, ordering people to leave the area. Clashes erupted when riot police broke through one of the entrances. Demonstrators responded with Molotov cocktails. By daybreak, protesters had retained control of most of the campus, but some say the clashes have taken a toll. We're exhausted because we've been up since 5 a.m. on Sunday. We're desperate. Our supplies are running low. Police have declared the campus a riot scene, warning that anyone caught in the area will be arrested. University management says it's trying to prevent the situation from spiraling out of control. We have now received the assurance of police of a temporary suspension of the use of force under the condition that if the protesters do not initiate the use of force, the police will not initiate the use of force. The nearly six months of unrest has plunged the international financial hub into recession, frightening of tourists. What started off as a series of mostly peaceful demonstrations against a now shelved bill to allow extradition to Chinese mainland has morphed into wider calls for democracy and an inquiry into allegations of police brutality. On Saturday, soldiers from the Chinese People's Liberation Army briefly left their Hong Kong barracks to help clean up the streets. It was a rare and symbolic operation as the troops are usually confined to the barracks and are only called in on emergencies. Philip Oweratia, T-World.